The Inova Precision Oven has many modes for perfect results. Choosing the right one for the food you're cooking is critical to taking your meal from good to great. Let's take a look at the different cooking modes offered by the Inova Precision Oven, how they work, and some examples of when you'd want to use each. The Inova Precision Oven measures wet bulb temperatures, making bagless sous vide cooking possible within the oven. The wet bulb sensor measures the surface temperature of your food, so when you set your target temp, it will be the same as what your food is experiencing, just like in a sous vide water bath. You can also speed up the sous vide process by using the included probe. Just set the probe temperature to your desired doneness, and then set the oven temperature slightly higher than that. We call this mode sous vide express. When you hit your target temperature, you'll be alerted and can remove your perfectly cooked food. You can also use sous vide mode without steam. This is useful for cooking proteins that have skin, like chicken or fish, when you want to keep the skin dry and ready to brown. Keep in mind that cooking sous vide without steam takes a bit longer as steam increases the efficiency of heat transfer. When setting your oven up for sous vide mode, you'll want to use the rear heat source, 100% steam for skinless proteins, or 0% steam for skin on proteins, high fan, and have sous vide mode turned on. Keep in mind that oven temperature cannot go above 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius when sous vide mode is turned on. Using high heat and the convection fan is a great way to quickly roast foods like chicken, where you want a crispy skin and a perfectly juicy interior. The Innova Precision Oven is a true convection oven with a heating element surrounding the fan so that heat is generated and forced out and around your food. To set convection roast, make sure sous vide mode is turned off and either the rear or top plus rear heating elements are selected. The fan is automatically set to high to circulate the heat. When in doubt, just reference one of our many convection recipes at oven.anovaculinary.com. If you're using your favorite recipe, reduce the cooking temp by 25 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 to 13 degrees Celsius. And keep in mind the food may cook more quickly. The food probe makes tracking the internal temperature of whatever you're cooking a breeze. To use it, just insert the probe into the thickest part of the raw food, making sure more than one-third is in the food. Before you cook, attach the loose end of the probe to the port inside of your oven. Once your meal's cooking, you'll be able to track the internal temperature from the oven interface or app. Multi-stage cooking refers to any recipe where you use a series of different oven settings to achieve your finished result. You can cook a multi-stage recipe or create one on your own directly in the app. After you've added the oven settings for your first stage, click Add Oven Stage and fill in the settings for the next stage. You can choose for the stage transition to proceed automatically or manually, depending on your recipe. Sous vide mode and browning is the most frequently used multi-stage cook, and for good reason. It's amazing for things like skin on poultry or larger roasts. Stage 1 cooks your food to the same perfect level of doneness all the way through, while Stage 2 brings color and texture to the outer layer, the best of both worlds. Just like traditional sous vide methods, you can pasteurize proteins, making them safe to eat, by holding them for a long enough period of time at your desired temperature. Stage 1 brings your food to the internal doneness you'd like, and stage two holds the oven at that temperature until the food has been pasteurized. Multi-stage cooks are also great for preparing multiple components of a dish. A great example of this is making the mac and cheese from our oven recipe collection. First, cook the pasta in the oven using steam, then drain, mix with your cheese sauce, return to the oven, and use convection roast for a crispy finish. 
You can also use multi-stage cooking to replicate a professional bread oven by injecting steam in stage one to start the baking process. This encourages maximum oven spring and a nice airy crumb. Dry heat in stage two browns the bread and gives it a beautifully crisp crust. Steam roasting quickly and efficiently transfers heat, adding a nice char to the exterior of your food while maintaining a tender interior. To set your oven for steam roasting, turn on your top plus rear or rear heat sources and have sous vide mode turned off. The fan is automatically set to high to circulate the heat. In general, we recommend using the middle oven rack and 10 to 50% steam. Also, use a slightly lower oven temperature, about 25 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 to 13 degrees Celsius, lower than you'd typically use because steam transfers heat much more effectively than dry roasting. A variation of steam roasting is steam broiling, which uses the top element for a blast of heat to quickly and very effectively brown high moisture, quick cooking foods. To set your oven for steam broiling, turn on your top heat source, have sous vide mode turned off. The fan is automatically set to high to circulate the heat. When steam broiling, it's best to use the highest or second highest oven rack position and to set the steam percentage between 10 and 50%. You can also use the steam function to prepare foods that you'd normally steam on the stove, like vegetables or frozen dumplings. You can even go a step further and steam dishes that would traditionally be boiled in hot water, like rice and grains. If you have a perforated pan, use it for steaming vegetables. For dumplings, bao, and other steamed breads, a bamboo steamer will work best. For larger items, like artichokes, you can steam directly on an oven rack. To set your oven to steam, use the rear heat source, 100% steam, and make sure sous vide mode is turned off. The fan is automatically set to high to circulate the heat. General guidelines for steaming are 213 degrees Fahrenheit or 101 degrees Celsius oven temperature for vegetables and rice, at least 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 104 degrees Celsius for thicker foods like dumplings, bao, and tamales. Professional level features, countertop size, perfect results every time, the Anova Precision Oven.